Hello again. And in this video, we are at Ashness Jetty, another extremely popular location here in the Lake District, with about, as I say, about five miles, if that, two, three miles outside of Keswick. And uh, it's a great location. You know, I think every photographer or everybody that takes pictures in the Lake District will come here and take a photograph of this jetty. And believe it or not, this is my first time here. So I thought we'd come along and see what we can do today. So we're on a jetty and uh, normally you see pictures of this jetty and you know it's, it's, it's the vertical sticks towards the end of the jetty um, or, the, or whatever you call them, these things um, and, uh, and then into the, into the hills beyond and the, and the sky and it's very popular in the mornings uh, and in the evenings with, uh, with sunset and sunrise clearly um, as a lot of photography is. Um, but we're here in the middle of the day, it's, uh, it's half past 11 now so it's a bit late uh, so we've missed that but we're here let's do what we can let's see what we can do so how are we going to set this this shot up now with, with these with these verticals on here none of them are straight so don't waste your time trying to get uh everything looking nicely straight but you do want to be in the middle of the jetty so you get a degree of symmetry on on, on the jetty itself the second trick is as you move backwards and forwards along the jetty all these poles are going to move slightly in the frame and if you're too far back at the start of the jetty actually where you, where you got on the ground they'll look as you get further away from you the ones at the end are going to start looking like they're, they're next to each other or they're crossing over each other so you just move down the jetty until you get to a point where you're comfortable with the lens you're using um, so that you get separation between all the vertical poles that's what i would do it's not that it's not a hard rule you can you can break that clearly but that's that's the the kind of option that i would go for obviously symmetry is really important so you want to be in the middle of the jetty. Some people might go off to the side and, and on the shore and have the jetty coming out to, into the frame. Perfectly, perfectly acceptable. But if you're shooting on the jetty, you, you probably want to be in the middle of the jetty so that you are, um, you, you've got that degree of symmetry on the jetty itself. For this, I've also got my tripod quite high. Now you don't, you don't always see my tripod high. It's normally, it's normally quite low. But for this, I just kind of want to, want to get, create more separation in the jetty. And what I don't want to do is I don't want the poles to be interfering with the with the, with the background at all. So if, if they go up to the horizon line or the edge of the lake um, or into the mountains, then, then there's sometimes that can, that can look a bit, a bit kind of messy. So I've come high, we're, we're shooting down onto the jetty itself. We've got a nice degree of separation, we see the lake. We're shooting water. So what are the two things we always consider with water? First of all is do we want to use a polarizer? And secondly, do we want to use some kind of big stopper or, or neutral density filter? The answer to those, both of those questions in this situation is, Yes, so we are using uh, a polarizer. I've got a Nissi circular polarizer on there, and I've got a Lee big stopper. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring out, just cut a little bit of reflection off the lake itself, um, bring out a little bit of definition in the skies. That's the polarizer doing its work. And then the big stopper, the neutral density filter, is going to allow me to extend that shutter speed so that we are shooting at about 25 seconds in this situation. And what that'll do is that'll make the, the water look, look, look like uh, nice and smooth and with no ripples and no distractions. So I've got my ISO on here set to 64. So just to run through the settings that I'm using here today, uh, I am on F18, so F16, F18, F16, 25 seconds, ISO 64. I'm using a Tamron 15 to 30 wide angle lens, F2.8, and that is on 15 mil, so I'm pretty much wide open um, uh, in terms of my, 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 uh, my lens. So that's 25 second exposure. Let's, let's just take that picture. I'm all set up, go. Now while that's taking, two things. Don't forget your little, uh, to blank out your viewfinder so you don't get any excess light into the, uh, into the camera itself. I've already done that. Um, and the second thing is we're on a jetty. Now this jetty moves. So what you need to be really careful about is don't move around too much because if you move, the jetty will move and that will make all your pictures look a little bit kind of blurred because your camera's moving up and down. It's a long exposure. You want to keep your camera as still as possible. It's on your tripod, obviously, but you need to keep the jetty still. So if you're walking on the jetty or just think, oh, I've set, I've set it, I'll just walk to the edge and have a look around, then you are going to move the, the wood around where the jetty is and it is going to create blurriness in your picture. The second thing is you need to be really careful. Now, last time I was on a jetty taking a picture, which was just over a year ago, um, I slipped, I kicked my tripod, and my tripod camera and everything ended up in the lake. And it's, uh, it was down in Windermere, and uh, the camera, we did retrieve it, but clearly it was, it was dead. Um, 
So it was an insurance claim, which was, you know, not a great day for the insurance company. Um, but that's why we have insurance. So let's have a look at that image and see what and see what we've got. Well, there we go. We've got the um, we've got the we've got the poles of the of the jetty nicely separated. We can see the detail in the wood there, um, and we've got the nice smooth uh, surface of the water. And then moving towards the mountains in the background of the skies, we've got a nice bit of detail. We've got a nice bit of contrast in the sky with the clouds. And uh, you know, it's not it's not the most perfect picture in the world, but you know, somebody would quite happily put it on a picture postcard. So maybe that's what we'll do. Thanks very much for watching this video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.